Right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 23. And in this lesson, man, we're going to be getting some big problems. Basically, it's all the same stuff that we've already been doing, only the, we're going to be dealing with two and three digit quotients. We're going to be dealing with some big old divisors, big old huge dividends. So uh, let's just get going. So we're being asked to divide, and basically we're going to be using that standard algorithm. And I'm going to begin by writing the problem. Let's see, 9,962 divided by 41. And I'm going to continue kind of veering away from that a Eureka Math uh, method. And I'm going to use skip counting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 41, and I'm going to estimate it to be 40. And then I'm just going to kind of skip, do a little bit of skip counting here. And I'll stop right there. That's good enough. Just to kind of get the flow going. So now I'm going to look at this 9. And I'm going to think of this 9 as 9,000. So can I take 9 thousands and divide it amongst 41 groups? No. So I'm going to extend that. And I'm going to think of this as 99 hundreds. So now we had 9,000. Here's 9 hundreds. And if I put them together, I get 99 Hundreds. Now, can I take 99 hundreds and divide them up amongst 41 groups? And, of course, the answer is yeah. I'm going to go over here and look at my skip counting. And my estimation is, well, 3 times would be 120, and that's too much. So my estimation is, yeah, I could probably do it 2 times. So way over here on my scratch paper, I'm going to do 41 times 2 and I get 82. So that means I'm going to put the 2 right here, as in 2 hundreds. And that means I've got 82 right here, and I subtract, and I get 17. Now we're going to think of that as 17 hundreds. And because we have 17 hundreds, and 17 is smaller than 41, that means we've done everything correctly so far. I'm going to bring down that 6 tens, so we now have 176 tens. And we want to think about how many uh, well, groups, or how many in each of the 41 groups. What can we divide that, sort that into 41 groups by? So I'm going to go over here and look at my skip counting, and I'm going to add one more. Ah, okay. So what that's saying is, it looks like I can go about four times. One, two, three, four. Because five clearly looks like too much. 200 is bigger than 176. So I'm going to think my estimation is four. Four times right there. So I'm going to go over here on scratch paper. And I'm going to do, uh, let's see, 41 times four. And I get 164. And so that's what I'm going to put right here, 164, and I'm going to subtract. And when I subtract, I get 12. And again, 12 is less than 41, so I'm golden. Now I'm going to bring down the ones, and I have two ones. So now I have 122 ones being sorted amongst 41 groups. And if I look over here, well, it looks like 3, because 40, 80... 120, so it looks like 3 is going to be my estimation. So way over here on scratch paper, let's do that. Let's do 41 times 3, and I multiply. Ooh, 123 is bigger than 122, so that means my estimation of 3 as our quotient is wrong. So I need to, I need to do some erasing here. And I'm going to erase that 3. And let me erase that 3. All right, woohoo! Bye bye, 3. Okay, so I've erased the 3, and now I need to say, well, if 3 was too much, well, that means 2 is my next guess. So I'm going to put 2 here, and we already know the answer for 2. 41 times 2 is 82, so I can put 82 right here, and I'm going to subtract, and I get 40. So that means our answer is 242, remainder 40. Now we've got to check using multiplication. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 242 
multiply by 41. And I'm going to do that real quick here. Add a 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So I add those together. I get 2 and 0 is 2. 4 and 8 is 12. Carry the 1. 1, 2, and 6 is 9. And then 9. So I get 9,922. But now I need to add in the remainder. And when I do that, I get 9,962, which is exactly what we started with. So that, that tells me that our answer of 242 remainder 40 is probably correct. Now we've got to practice with a word problem. So it says, a political gathering in South America was attended by 7,910 people. Each of South America's 14 countries was equally represented. And that word equally probably means we're either going to be multiplying or dividing because those are the two properties, um, pro uh, operations, that deal with equal amounts. So in this case, we're probably going to divide. And then, of course, the question is, well, how many uh, representatives attended from each country? So, let's do the division. So, we have um, 7,910 divided by 14. So, again, I know my skip counting pretty well, so I'm going to take that 14 and I'm going to estimate it to be 15. So we've got 15, 30, 45, 60, etc., etc., etc. So now let's do our thinking. So we've got 7,000. Can we take 7,000s and divide them amongst 14 groups? No, we don't have enough thousands. So let's think of this as 79 hundreds. Well, if you have 79 hundreds, you can definitely start sorting them out amongst your 14 groups. So I'm looking over here and I've got 15, 30, 45, 60. We want to get up to 79. So it looks like we can get one group closer and there's our 75 and that's what we want. So skip counting, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So our estimation is the quotient will be five. So over here on scratch paper, we're going to do 14 times five and we get 70, and that seems pretty reasonable. So we're going to subtract by 70, and we get 9 hundreds left over. Since 9 is less than 14, that means we're probably okay. And we're going to bring this 1 down, because that's a 10. So we now have 91 tens. 91 tens sorted amongst 14 groups. Well, let's see. Can we get a little bit closer? If we go a little bit closer... Let's see, we get 90, because if we're skip counting by 15s, right? So 75 plus 15 gives us 90, and that's less than 91. So that means we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our quotient right now is our estimation is going to be 6. So let's find out. So we're going to do 14 times 6. We get 24. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 84, and so that seems like a reasonable, reasonably close to 91. So let's subtract, and 11 minus 4 is 7, and then 8 minus 8 is 0, so we're going to leave it. So that worked out, because 7 is less than 14, so that means our quotient of 6 is okay. Let's bring down that 0. So now we have 71s sorted amongst 14 groups, so it looks like our best estimation over here is going to be 4, because using our skip counting, uh, it looks like 4. So our estimation is 4, so I'm going to put it up there, and we need to do the math. So we're going to do 14 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So 56. Mm, I don't know. That feels like we might get a little closer, but let's find out. So we're going to do 56. Now, when I subtract, I'm going to get 6 and 10, right? And then 10 minus 6 is 4. 6 minus 5 is 1. Ooh, 
because 14 is not smaller than 14, that means we can go in more than just four times. In fact, if I look back here, if I had kind of opened my eyes a little bit, I would have seen that oh, 14 times 5 is exactly the 70 that we wanted. So I am going to uh, erase the 4, because we didn't want the 4, because we can go up a little bit more. And I'm going to erase all this stuff down here, because really, it turns out, I could have gone in, I'm going to put that 70 back, it turns out, it turns out I could have used 5 right here. So, that's right here, 14 times 5 is 70, so I'm going to put the 70 here, I'm going to subtract, I get a 0 remainder, so the answer is 565. So what's the question? Well, how many representatives attended from each country? And the answer is 565 people attended from each country. Ideally, I should check by multiplying. 565 multiply by 14 to just make sure that I get 7,910 but I'm going to leave that up to you parents and teachers and students to do that. And that wraps up 5th grade Module 2 Lesson 23, Dividing Big Ol' Huge Problems.